What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on the Musa farming playthrough, so we're just going to be power leveling on this character, see what we can do. This this will not come out nearly as much as the other ones, but we can start this episode out here in the mines, farming out the imps, and if you haven't seen my video going over where I farm for the first 24 levels, we'll be doing that in this video, or in uh, this series. So we'll be farming here until level 15, and then once we hit level 15, we will be going over to Moretti Plantation from levels 15 and 19. Or 15 through 19, not 15 and 19. 15 through 19. Can I hit? Oh my gosh. We're a little bit underleveled for this area. I think technically it's supposed to be like 13 with better with better gear but you know screw that we're just gonna we're just gonna farm and then we're gonna get money and then we're gonna buy gear so the only thing i did off camera is i fought a couple of these to see how slow leveling was or fast and it's not bad i don't like the kick on this character it, like doesn't flow with combat But, I bought some potions. I did sell everything that we could sell, and I bought potions on this character, because we're going to need them, being a slightly a little bit underleveled. And I spent all my money on potions, so maybe not the greatest idea, but it's what we did. It's a what we did. Alright. So we're about to hit level 14. We'll take a look at skills. Oh, okay. Hold on, everybody. I hate when I get... When they split up like this. Just cluster up and stand in front of me. There's level 14. There we go. You don't have to kill many of these guys to level up, which is nice. I mean, we'll see here. What? 17 and a half. We just killed one. We got to 20. 24. Really easy. For this area. Yep. Let's go up here towards the, uh... A little bit more clustered enemies. You guys going come back here back it up Wait, what was I just about to do I don't know what I was just trying to do there but whatever we got them all clustered up here so that's good 66% up again. I gotta get, I gotta get these combos figured out. They're not bad. I mean, like, here. I get behind you guys. There we go. Kick him with the kick. Get him on the ground. One more kill, and we will... We will level up to 15, and we can move on to Moretti. I'm going to kill these guys. Just, I mean, you can stay here, but as you'll see in the top, the experience is down to like 2% apiece. Which is a little bit lower than I would like. So, we're going to head to Moretti Plantation. We're going to take a stop here in Heidel. This is the next, and then we'll head down to Moretti Plantation, which is right here. Have it kind of covered up by those stupid um, loading icons to symbolize that I have workers going on there. But uh, we will get to that. We will get to Moretti Farm in a second. But as you can see, that only took five minutes to get from level 12 to level or level 13 to 15. I, I had, you know, I said I had practice to see what it was going to be like. So we have these shoddy pickaxes uh, that vendors will buy. And we also farmed a blackstone. 
So that is completely from me farming up the blackstone, or farming before I started the video. I got that blackstone, so we're going to be able to sell that for a little bit of money. We currently have no money. Um, there are some rewards for new characters on here. As you can see, Musa reached level 15. We get a gold bar um, worth $1 million, so that's really nice. We're going to be able to use that on this character. As you can see, um, event, here we go. Here is all the stuff for the new characters that you can get. This one down here worth $10 million for getting uh, the new characters to level 55, so I'll be trying to do that. You have until May 14th, so I'm going to try to get all four of the characters. You can only do this once, but I'm going to try to get all four of the new characters to level 55 so that I can unlock this. Um, that's the real goal for this episode, is to get to level 55, or episode, for this series is to get to level 55. That's the whole leveling goal for the Musa. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can remember this place. I think the market's over this way. Yes, here we go. All right, so we're at the market. This will probably be similar to what I'm going to do with Striker, um, is just try to power level it up, because I, I like Striker, but I don't like it like a crazy amount. Okay, so hold on real quick. I'm going to go down here. We need to go to the storage. And sell this gold bar so we can have a million dollars. All right, Amerigo. If you have a lot of I need stuff, you to buy this bad boy from me. <laughs> Thank you. you. Space Put it in the storage, which is fine. Take that out. Warehouse. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have two million. I'm not going to... Okay, so... I want to withdraw. Hold on. I want to withdraw this two million because it put it in here, and I forget. I keep forgetting to withdraw it. So I'm just gonna put it into my central market. We only have a million dollars. We only have a million. We have a million. Obviously, if we're relatively close to buying something, and I need like forty thousand dollars, I'm just gonna buy it. I'm not gonna get too specific about this, but I'm gonna try to keep it. You know, at least kind of like I don't have other characters producing me money. All right. You can entrust your goods without work. So, let's go ahead and we can send this to the market. And we'll send all 2,062,000 that we have. There we go. I'll withdraw what I don't use. But let's go ahead and sell this. Try to get 210,000 for it. And we did, in fact, get the 210,000. So, it came back as 177. So, I'm just going to say I have 1.2 million to spend. So, with 1.2 million to spend, we... What do we use on this character? We just, do we use the... Wait, do we... Ours is just the blade, right? I don't want to buy... Okay, yeah, it's just the blade. I didn't want to make a mistake, because that would have been really stupid. Uh, blade. Not much for sale. Not much better than what I'm using currently. Stid blade. Ultimate stid blade. Here we go. Let's get let's get one of these for now. So that's only 28,000. So we're going to pick that up. And now we're going to do the big thing here. That's the accessories. Because there are really cheap bears accessories here. So for 36000 we can boost our damage. So we're going to pick up two of those. Let's just pay the max so we guarantee that we get them. Necklace. Let's pick up the bear's necklace. We're actually going to pick up this one. Um, it's a little bit more pricey, but it's a better... It's a better bang for your buck. So I'm going to pick that up. So we're up to essentially 300,000. We're a little bit under 300,000. We're going to pick up two bears earrings. So I'm going to pick up one of the duos, I think. Yeah, we're going to pick up one of the duos right here. Pick that up. And we're going to pick up this one as well. Oh, bid complete. I, okay. We have to... We have to bid higher, or we have to pay the full price, which is fine. I don't care. Let me make sure these aren't any better. Callus blade? No, okay. Let's get that ultimate stid. Pay max price for that. And now, go back to the armor. Or actually, go back to the accessories. We want to get... What were we on? We were on... We got an earrings? Yeah, I don't know which one it bought. It didn't buy this one, so we want to max price that one. 
what do we have now? So we have two earrings. Okay, so we did buy that. We have two rings. We have the necklace. We just need the belt. All right, so let's go back to Central Market and let's get a belt. Belt. Just want to get another bear's belt. And I'm going to get this one right here, the PRI. It's 180000 So... What it what it uh is there a way to see what I bought my transaction history? Here we go. So we did two twenty okay, so that essentially makes three hundred thousand. Three thirty, four forty, four forty, four forty, one point four. 1.4, or no, not 1.4, 1. 1. 100,040, 1. 1.2, about 1.4, we spent a little bit more than I had actually, but that's all right, it's it's still really close, 1.4, we had up roughly like a, a medium, like 1.2 and a half, so I can't take any of the money out, because we don't have any of that left, we need to take this out, there we go, and now we can equip all of our new gear, so we have 12 attack points right now. We'll see what we have when we equip all of this. Okay, so we have all of that. Now we need to go get some more money so that we can get gauntlets, uh, armor, and have better than 8 defense points. So that's the next. And then we also need to get a better bow. So now it's time to head on down to Moretti Plantation, and we're going to try to get ourselves some more money down here. Um, this series is going to be very similar to a series that I have planned later on with the Ranger. Um, it's a series that I... What is it doing here? Where is it trying to auto... Why? Why are you being like this? There we go. Um, <laughs> it's a series that I've had plans to do. It's based off of Dungeoneer's um, Rags to Riches series. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It's a really cool series that I enjoyed watching. I watched it before I even could play Black Desert, uh, and then now I can play it. But um, I'm going to do a series called like Hero to Zero, um, which will be very similar to this series where I I pretty much just act like I don't have any I don't have any other characters or anything. This is going to be a little bit longer of a grinding farm, just to keep that in mind. What are we getting? We're getting about three percent a kill, which is not terrible. But they're spread out down here. They're a little bit spread out down here at Moretti Plantation. We are killing them a lot quicker thanks to our brand new gear, which is really nice. And these guys tend to aggro pretty well. They're not like um, super passive enemies that don't aggro and chase, which is really nice down here. Because, because of how they're spread out a little bit. A little bit more than most enemies. It's nice that they're pretty aggressive. And the good thing is, is there's the giant circle here. I'll also go... I don't know what it just said about level 16. It says you deserve something. These also respawn really quick, which is really nice. You can just stay in one spot, essentially, if you want. But that was a quick level 16. I don't know how... So I'll look now. So we're at 1350. We'll see how long it takes us to get to the level 19 to move on to the next area. There's another area here that you can actually go farm, which I'll go over here in just a second. We'll work around here, and then once we get to it, I'll go over it. It kind of falls into the Moretti Plantation. I'm not going to go out and fight those guys. I feel like I'm going to sneeze so bad. Every time when I start a video, I like it's like clockwork. It's like, hey, oh, we see the body like knows I'm recording. It's like, oh, time to sneeze. Okay. Going to hit level 17 here soon. And we're pretty much here, so I'll go up there and check it. I, I, I little bit prefer the plantation a little bit more. Just because the enemies respawn, there's a nice little circle to do here. I think it's just a little bit easier of an area to do this in. We'll clear out these guys a little bit more before we go up there. I 
Actually, we'll definitely get to level 17 before we go up there, which is right now. Okay, so right up here, we'll take a look at skills here in a second. Um, but right up here is another area that you can farm with the rebel units are up here. I have to probably be careful because my defense points are not very high. But you can kind of... These guys are a little bit slower to respawn. And so consequently, it's a little bit harder to farm this area than the area down there. Because these guys aren't like mega respawn like the, uh, like the guys at the actual plantation. Destroy the supplies. But yeah, I, I like it up there. It's something different. It's a little bit of a different groove you can get in up there, but I just don't think it's quite as good as being down here at the plantation. All these enemies aggro really fast, as you can see. Like, if I run through here and grab up these enemies, they aggro, like, really quickly. And you can see all of them are now aggroed. And here they come. And they're a little bit weaker than the enemies up top. They give a little bit less XP, yes, but they're they're vastly easier than the ones up top. So I think personally, it it's like it's pretty much a wash because there's more of them down here. You're gonna kill more, and so for me, I prefer Moretti Plantation. So we're already level 18. So we went from 16 to 17 to 18 in like three minutes. It's really nice. It's so it's so easy to do it this way i'll probably call it here at moretti plantation we'll take what we got from here we'll head back to Hydel and um cash it in and see what we can buy if we can buy anything we do need some gloves and gauntlets and stuff obviously that's stuff you get from story mode but i uh, we're not doing the story on this character and are my pets out? I feel like they're not picking up as well as normal. They are out. That is one thing that I'm not going to be messing with on this character. Um, it's one thing you'd have to count. You would have to account for it if you didn't have multiple characters. But I will forget. So inevitably, I'm just not going to even mess with it. I'm so used to switching characters to feed my pets that that's something you'll have to account for if you're doing this as your like only character. If you want to do this. And act like you don't have any here. Why is this thing not dying? Come here. Alright, so we're at 42%. But this is the cool thing that I like, is that you have plenty of circle to go here. You can go multiple circles, and... Um, you don't have to thin out a whole area. You can move on to the next... They're going to be respawned in the next area anyway, so... You might as well go to a more populated area instead of completely clearing out certain areas. Smack that one. Wait, I, I split them right down the middle. Take a quick look here after this, these kills. What's our items looking like? Okay, we've gotten a little bit of stuff. We got a militia... Or no, wait, we've had that militia blade. Um, because we... We bought a new one. About to hit the level 19. Nice and quick. These videos may tend to be just a little bit shorter than the normal videos because I don't want to get too involved in the next area um, and then have to cut the episode or make the episode too long. So some of these videos may be in the teens of minutes this one will probably make it to 20 because we did the buying but that's it right there level 19 now you can see the xp drops massively to about a percent a kill instead of the two to four percent that we were getting before so i'll slice up a few on our way out all right so we need to head back to Hydel. So I will do that in the next episode. We will head back to Hydel and um, then we will deal with getting new gear and looking at skills and stuff like that. Really, really, guys. Get out of here. 
new gear and stuff like that. And then we'll also take a look at our skills before we head to kill the Glish Foggins. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. And I will catch you all in the next episode of this or in another one of my series. Peace.